folks, these are very deceiving times. I know I shouldn't have to say that. I ask all of you to use discernment, those of you who are in Christ. The closer and closer we get to the Lord's return, the more and more my eyes are wide open to things like never before. There's a whole lot of people on YouTube that I was once subscribed to, but now I'm starting to see something in their eyes, just evil, arrogance, and I can no longer watch it. I'm not going to call them out by name, again, because I ask you all to use discernment. And a lot of people will go for your throat in defending these people, and I'm not up for arguing, folks. But one I will mention that I was subscribed to, that I only was subscribed to them to read the titles. I knew in the past they never mentioned the name Jesus, but they called themselves a watchman. The watchman with something. I, I, I can't remember now. They have many upon many subscribers of people that obviously can't see. Because I've said all the time on this channel, there will be a small remnant. And many cannot discern anything because they go with whatever man does. Not with what the Bible says. Hate to break it to you, but there will not be any true revivals. There will be a falling away. You'll see many revivals with a false Jesus, but not the true Jesus. Many revivals with an acceptance Jesus, but not a repentance Jesus. And people will come at you with claws out for saying things like that. Even though it's 100% biblical, regardless of what these false prophets out here are telling you, it's not biblical. Don't fall into the lies, folks. Please don't make me beg. Jesus is coming very soon. Stay into your Bibles, not what man says. You don't even have to listen to me, folks. Listen to the Bible, the Word. Jesus is the Word. And the Word was God, and the Word is God. If you don't know Jesus, find a Bible. Open it, preferably a King James, because a lot of the other ones have been changed. Open it to Romans 10 and read verses 9 through 13. Call on the name of the Lord and you'll be saved. But don't get that Nicolaitan spirit where you can do whatever you want because Jesus paid it all. The more and more that I've read scripture over these past five years, the less and less I've had in common with a big majority of other believers, professing believers. It's very rare in these times to find other like-minded believers, folks. Because so many would rather debate and argue amongst each other than to go out of here and bring others to Christ. They'll argue with you. Well, so-and-so says they'll send you videos and all this stuff. In all honesty, without sounding harsh, I don't care what so-and-so says. What does the Bible say? Some of these people out here, just like Scripture says, they profess themselves to be wise, yet they become fools. And they're leading so many astray. Just like a lot of these huge YouTubers that have this massive following, and yet these people are following them straight to hell. A lot of them anyway. The ones who can't see because they don't discern. I would ask all of you to open your eyes. But you can't do that yourself. It's going to take the Lord himself to do that. And discernment comes from the Lord, not from you, not from me. Again, I know these are miserable times. And just like I said a minute ago, it's very hard to find like-minded believers. It truly is. And in turn, it's hard to find true friends. Because you're searching for people who are true Bible-believing Christians to be friends with and it's very few I mean they listen to people out here saying that the rapture has already happened and we're in the millennium right now and it, 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 it doesn't even make sense if I ever profess myself to be biblically wise that's only from the Lord not from me call on the name of the Lord y'all use the spirit not your own but the spirit that the Lord gave use discernment deceptive times y'all 
Keep looking up, church. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I love all of you and God bless. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Say if, they, say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love us. All who oppose.